Good day everyone, especially to our professor, Ma'am Jessa Boysan. Ma'am, good morning. To my fellow classmate, good morning. So today, main topic is all about Blaan tribe. So to start, let's know the historical background of the Blaan tribe. So the word Blaan could have derived from Bila, meaning house, and the suffix an, meaning people. So the term may be taken to mean people living in houses. Other terms that have been used to refer to this group are Blaan, Baraat, Baraan, Bilianes, and Bilanes. So in other, another word, um, the word Blaan could have derived from Bila meaning house and the suffix meaning uh, and the suffix an meaning people. So in short, uh, Blaan are the people living in houses. So next. So the Blaan are further classified based on the traditional territories that they dwell or occupy. So ang mga Blaan ay may sarili silang tawag kung saan sila naninirahan. So, there are Blaans who live in the plain. So, ang tawag sa mga Blaan na naninirahan sa patag ay Blaan Datal. Those that live in entire part of the mountains are the Blaan Lagad. Those that prefer to stay near the ocean are the Blaan Mahin. And those that live in the communities with large coconut plantation are the Blaan Lam al -Fu. So, there are also younger generation of Blaan. The younger generation of Blaan they called uh, no, uh, Tubad Blaan that are living outside the Philippines as an immigrant or overseas Filipino worker and missionary whom we call as Blaan International. Uh, ang tawag sa mga um, Blaan na naninirahan sa ibang bansa like missionary or nagtrabaho sa ibang bansa ay tinatawag na uh, Blaan di Mawag Banul. So, the Blaans are among the 110 indigenous people group of the Philippines, primarily located in south, south central Mindanao. The Blaan inhabit the southern part of South Cotabato and southern part of the Waudel Sur, as well as the areas around the Bloon Lake and the North Cotabato. Some Blaan live on Sarangani Island of the coast of the Waudel Sur through the are referred to as a Sarangani as Manobo. Other Blaan groups on, on this island have been referred to a Balud or to Manau. The Blaan shared similarity and culture and physical feature with the neighboring Tagakaulu and the Tagabawa. So, ang mga Blaan ay makikita sa southern part, south central Mindanao, like South Cotabato, Davao del Sur, Sarangani, North Cotabato. So, dyan makikita ang ang uh, mga blaan. Also, uh, ang mga kaulu, taga kaulu and the taga bawa are the neighboring, neighboring hood of blaan, blaan tribe. So next. So the festival and culture and tradition of blaan. In festival, um, the Sinalak festival, a color celebration. This is a celebration every July at South Cotabato. So this is a festival that week-long celebration held in Coronel City and the capital of South Cotabato. There, there are also a uh, Blaan Day which cel celebrate in General Santos City. So next. So religious belief in practice. The religious belief are character characteristic of free Spanish folk religion. The Blaan are monotheistic in the sense that they believe that there is but one supreme being ruling the cosmos. The tribe practice indigenous ritual for almost everything that we do because of their beliefs on the supremacy of the great creator Nem Malu or Dwata, who is source of everything. The Blaan are strong be believer on the interdependency with the environment and must respect the well of the creator and are not allowed to touch or destroy any cre creature our object without his permission. So they also believe in this existence of the soul, which upon leaving the body cause illness and death, their concept of heaven or Kalawalhatian is under the earth. Kalawalhatian has no space for planting rice or processing abaca. It is also a place where the chasing of there is not allowed because of intermediates in terms of rage, some of Laan have they become a Christian or Muslim. The God of Laan are called Malu 
particle wata. So next is the marriage and wedding of the Blaan. The Blaan have intermarried for years, which does cause abnormalities and even some deformities. Their marriage costumes are very set and have been followed for 100 years. However, most of their marriage follow a strict tradition. Some of their men have two or three wives depending upon how they can afford to pay the dowry. The agreement of the choices of a partner is generally handled by the parents since after birth. They, the parents, if they are good friends with each other, make agreement as to the time of the wedding and the dowry involved. So in the end, there is no age for wedding because uh, her wedding is um, a true agreement of uh, arranged marriage that is their their culture. So next is most of the time parents of the girl will demand things that are commonly found in the position of the boy's parents. Those things like carabao, horses, uh, breastplate made of bronze, a gong, a jewelry box made of bronze, and is used to store chewing tobacco, necklace or bracelet, rings and earrings. In addition to four or five of these gifts, our parents of the bride will require a bouquet given to the whole village. They may have butcher, a carabao, and a couple of a large pig. It is also the group or her parents do not come up with their request, the boy's parents will have to pay for breach of agreement. So, dito sa kanilang wedding is, ang nasusunod is yung babae. Bago mo makuha yung babae, kailangan, kailangan mag-demand yung parents ng babae. Like yung mga prawns, agong, uh, carabao horses, that is the dory. Um, dito sa amin, because we are Blaan community, uh, ang tawag dito sa amin is the Sungul. So next. So next is the death and burial practice of the Blaan. The Blaan considered their death as the end of one's life. A person is pronounced dead when he no longer has any pulse. When a person dies, his soul leaves the body and thinks here in the surrounding area and it eventually goes goes to Kelot. If the person died through natural cause of Kayo, this state was caused by an ax or man including barang or witchcraft. The Tufu Lam El is the ceremony performed in case of the death and the community. Food is prepared and musical instruments such as the Edel, a company, and the activities. So in death and burial practice of the Blaan, um, they believe that if the body is die, uh, uh, ito ay pupunta sa kay Kelot. Kelot is, I think this is the one of the goddesses of the Blaan. And if, if the person is natural cause or natural natural die ang kanyang body is ma um, mapupunta kay kayo that is also the god, god of the blood next is proceed to attire in the accessories yes of blood blood female blouse are dif differentiated by their respective decoration and embroidery like mother of pearl shirt dress or albong takmun which is also the most expensive one with beaded blouse or albong sanla, blouse with a plaque or albong kinibang, and cross stitch or albong anset. The traditional female tube skirt wool tabi made from unwooden abaca or the ekat weaving, Blaan women also uses magnananawun plate or the malong as alternative to tabi and it's also called ginto. So next, Blaan male pants or toes are generally called salwal. Name can change to Salwal or Tinajong or Salwal Nihok based on the ikat materials and embroidery design modified applied. 
So other accessor accessories with their blaan terms are the following. Com or swat. Male clothes, head cover, utub, earrings or olel, necklace or slack, brass belt or sabitan or get away. Leg rings or tikas, anklets or babat. So other other accessories of laan, um, the kimagi, the sabitan or talyong or the brass belt. Next is the swat or the traditional comb and headdress of the ad. So, so next slide is proceed to dance in their tribes. So the dance of Laan are called Madal or Maral. Laan tribe have many types of dances. These are followed. The Blit Laan, Kagting Laan, Amte, Amluk, Aslubung, Binanug Banug, Binagbato Bato, Palmalek Laan, Karal Kafi, Maral few awas, Maral tangungo, muhag subbon and udol. That is the the different different types of dance of laan. But according to my research, there are three only published na dance ng laan, which is the blit laan. One of these is the blit laan. It is a courtship dance of laan people of the Baudel Sur, in which dances. Dancers mimic the behavior of horse bird and the mating season. Two male dancers that represent richly plump male birds are IT females. The females try to hide from the males, burying their heads under their wings, which are represented by their malums. Still, the aggressive males pursue them. So that is the one of the dance of the that I researched, the blit blaan. So next is the Kagting Blaan dance. So ito yung pangalawa. This is all this is the dance of planting. Kagting Blaan dance is the planting dance of Blaan. This dance is an ancient times the Blaan tribe would have a ritual and dance before they planted so that the plant would be abundant when they harvest camp. So the Kagting Blaan ito yung ginagawa nila uh, bago sila magtanim ng kanilang mga uh, like mais or palay para pagdating naniniwala sila pagdating ng kanilang harvest maganda yung yung mga ani nila pag ginawa nila ito 